Hello, uh, welcome back. As you can tell from the title, today we are, or I am, looking at this Exelon from Houston Consultants in 1987. Now, <clears throat> this is one of my uh, favourite games that I ever actually um, owned. Um, one of the first games I ever sought out when um, I first discovered World of Spectrum, and I still play it. Um, every now and then. The last time I, I loaded the tape up, um, it worked quite. Well, it worked fine, no problems. Uh, just forgot to rewind it. Um, Houston, of course, uh, quality, quality software house. Um, just a number of really strong titles um, uh, during their sort of heyday. So, Dragon Talk, Avalon, uh, Magnetron, Quasitron, uh, Astro Clone. Um, Iridium, uh, Zynaps, Exelon, Cybernoids 1 and 2, Stormlord, um, uh, Deliverance, a lot more, I'm just plucking those names um, out of the air, um, but as I said, Exelon, um, one of my favourites, uh, so that's the price tag on it, as you can see just there, it's from a store um, in the Holloway Road in London. It was called Jones Brothers, which was part of the um, uh, John Lewis chain. It was a massive big store. It's not there anymore. Um, that's where I used to buy the majority of uh, my games. Um, it, down in the basement area was where they had all the, the computer displays set up. Along with all the other electrical stuff, like the uh, TVs, um, stereo equipment, etc. And we'd often go down there and... Um, the sales assistants, most of them, there was one crabby one, if you wanted to play a game they'd quite happily load it up for you and let you play on it for 15-20 uh, minutes. Uh, apart from the one, um, like I say, the, the one sort of crabby um, guy who was a bit mm, about it all. Um, always remember about that area was they had one of those soundproof stereo rooms where you know you could go and listen to the um, uh, the, the, the sort of music in sort of like an enclosed um, environment to see which sort of stereo you wanted to buy. And uh, a couple of times we used to get, we went in there, um, whacked all the stereos up to max and then snuck out of the room really quickly, making sure the door was shut firm behind us. Anyway, one particular day we did this and you could feel the floor vibrating through um, all the sort of sound waves and stuff. And uh, an old girl walked, um, towards the stereo room and we're like, oh no, and she opened the door, it was like a cannon going off. Um, so we got thrown out for that, but um, madam, if you're out there uh, watching, um, I do apologise. Uh, anyway, let's uh, talk a little bit more about Exelon. As you'll see, it's a very simple in design, um, <coughs> side-scrolling platform, sh shoot em up type um, Game really colourful graphics, well designed puzzles that are not so easy that you just go, well, I'm not going to play this again, but not so difficult that um, it, it's off putting. Um, I'm not the world's best game player anyway, as you're going to see from the video. I'm going to die very, very, very quickly um, and several times. Um, so it's important that the game sort of makes you want to play it, and Excellent is for me one of those games. Anyway, uh, enough uh, rabbiting uh, about the game. Let's get on to the actual gameplay itself and see what it looks like. Now, I know there's a million and one YouTube videos about Exelon, so one more isn't going to hurt. Okay. Okay. Um, here we are at uh, Exelon, Houston Consultants. Really well presented title screen. As you can see, I'm into the game now. Um, you got to blast all the obstacles out of the way. Um, holding down on the fire button releases the missile um, and as you can see there's a power up at the end of the screen um, to collect so basically you just um, you've got to make it from one side of the screen to another um, whilst avoiding all the various traps etc these elevators if you step into them and press the up button you'll transport between the two and avoid the cannon now you'll see what I mean in a minute when I, I, I sort of say that I'm absolutely awful at um, most games, including this one. Um, it's very hard to judge where the balls are going to bounce. 
And uh, I often lose a, a couple of lives on this screen, even though I've played it fairly regularly uh, recently. <sighs> so there's more bouncing ball, bouncing death. <laughs> it's really, really addictive, really well designed. Everything about the game is, is just, um, if I've said before in previous videos, that, you know, it doesn't matter if the game's, how old the game is, how, primitive the graphics are compared to today's standards if it's a good game it's timeless and excellent is a good game um, like most of uh, Raphael um, Kecko's um, uh, works I say most purely because I haven't um, played all of them um, I'm going to work my way through his um, collection etc but uh, as you can see I'm absolutely hopeless at uh, uh, avoiding the bubbles of death okay. and this uh, gun encampment um, do the trick is to uh, fire up, then down, and fire the missiles out. Well, you can't actually blow it up with a cannon, which is uh, odd. Then you go up. I start to collect the two um, power ups. It'll destroy this uh, encampment. Jump across. And you try and outwit this missile by uh, quickly swapping the location of where you go. If you manage to destroy that brain thing, um, that sort of like seems to be the, the, the missile's control center. Um, and that blows it up. Oh! Now the um, the purple booth you can see there, that's, uh, that's where you need to get into to grab the... Um, uh, the exoskeleton, the uh, really cool sort of second character, really, um, with, with double firing sort of capability. You see that the game gets progressively tougher. <laughs> Tough for me, anyway. Oh, you will start the game again, just to prove it is me. There we go. <clears throat> All the way back to ground zero. really is a, a nice game to look at, I think, anyway. I think uh, where you saw me get to in the, uh, oh, in the previous uh, level was as far as I ever managed to get anyway. <laughs> of doom. No, oh, didn't do too badly that time. Okay, I'm just going to leave uh, the rest of the video to play out for a bit. As you can see, a really, really good game. hope you enjoyed the video. Um, until next time.
Okay, so that was me playing Exelon, um, actually quite badly, um, by my standards, um, quite normally. Um, just to give you a feel of uh, of the way the game looks, the way the game plays, the sort of simplicity of the design and uh, the sort of premise, but the sort of uh, complexity of the, the thought that's gone into some of the, um, the designs of some of the screens, especially... Um, later on into the game, although I didn't get very far into the game, um, but you can see the progressive difficulty creeping into each screen, um, requiring some um, really um, uh, quick reflexes and uh, quick thoughts, really. Um, I hope you liked the video. Um, please subscribe uh, to me on YouTube if you have any um, videos that you'd like me to do, any games you'd like to see uh, me do um, a video of, uh, please leave a comment down below. Follow me on Twitter at um, the address um, shown. And more importantly, uh, anything uh, that you think I can do um, to improve things uh, a little bit, I'm uh, more than uh, welcome to receive any suggestions. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy all the videos. Um, until next time, thank you very much. Goodbye.